In this video, we're gonna look at some awesome ways to get your Bandcamp page design to really stand out. Hey everyone, Stephen here, aka Mr. DJ, with another video for the DIY Musician Guide. You might have stumbled across a Bandcamp page and wondered, how did they get this page looking so awesome? A lot of this has to do with how you merge the banner art, the background art, and there's actually a few techniques to this. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some examples that might just help you out. We'll be using Pixabay for our free stock images for our examples, as well as a free online design platform, Canva, to edit them. Let's jump into it. Okay, the first thing we want to do uh, for our first example is if you can see on this Bandcamp page, this isn't mine, this is another label, um, you can see how this top banner blends in really well with the rest of the page. Another example, this which is probably easier to see because you've got these blue borders here. You can see that the Milk Records banner blends in really well with the rest of the page. And this is a good place to start really for an example. So we're going to do pretty much the same thing on my demo page. I've set up a demo page here. It's called DIY Hard, obviously. And we're going to create a banner here and it's going to basically gel with the rest of the page. So uh, we're going to jump into Canva as always and we're going to create a design and we're going to go to custom dimensions and uh, we're going to create the banner obviously that here so we're going to go 975 and uh, you can have 40 to 180 so we're going to take the whole thing up, create new design. And obviously you can't find any templates because this is a custom design but it doesn't matter. Now, if I go to my uploads here, I've got a few here I've been messing around with, but I'll just show you how to do it all from scratch anyway. So I'm just gonna throw in a logo for my page here, it's gonna be in black. And obviously because it's in black, I want the rest of this to be black, but we'll do that in a second. Now I'll just click on here and it'll just add it right to the center there. I'm pretty happy with that. I could resize it if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to click on the rest of this canvas here and then hit this color chart wheel, whatever you want to call it, and hit black. And there you go. It, it just basically fills the whole banner black. Now we can download this. Hit that download button. Uh, hit, it's going to be in PNG. Download. And I'll save it somewhere. Come on, here we go, die hard. I'll just put a new folder here. And I'll call it um, Bandcamp Header 1. Okay, so now we head over to our Bandcamp page and upload the header. There we go, there it is. Press open. And here we go, it's done, it's open, it's it's on there. So that will stay static and it's fine as is, you know, it won't move. Um, but obviously we could tie the page in a little bit more. So what we'll do there is just uh, click on uh, page design from here. And we're gonna change the body design to black. Just enter on that one. There we go, right. And we're going to do the background color as black as well. There we go. Um, and as you see, it all is blended up quite well. Now you can change the text here because obviously it's really hard to read. So we change that up if you wanted to, you know, brighten it up a little bit more. It looks so good to me. And there you go. That's the first example done. You can see that now this gels in as if it's its, its own web page. You could add, uh, let's just like that milk record one. We could just change the um, the background color to a different color, just so. Um, no, sorry, it's the back, that's the body color. Ooh, background one. That's what we want. There we go. So we've got the uh, borders around the side, but I think it looks pretty good in black. So that'll do for example one. Okay, for example two, I wanna do something a little bit more interesting with the background. As you can see that it's just plain black, but you know, we could do something really interesting. So let's have a look on uh, Pixar. Well, I say, let's have a look. I've already picked something. I picked this image here, because I like the idea of having some of this on each side of 
uh, this page. Like you'd have it like some there and some there, and maybe made that static um, with the whole page. You'll see what I mean in a minute, but. I've just downloaded this image and we're going to jump back into Canva. Now we want to create a background image. That's basically what we're going to do and set some of those kind of uh, that, that, that square pattern inside it. Um, so to, to come up with a, a background image, we have to think about all oh, what sizes the background image is going to be. And I always uh, tend to look at this website for this, which is a stat counter telling you like what, what what's the average percent of um, um, what's what's the average use of uh, certain types of desktop? So you can see like the most used desktop is thirteen sixty six times seven six eight, and the next was nineteen twenty times ten eighty, which I'm actually going to go for because I think that's all you kind of need on Bandcamp. You can kind of get away with that. So we know that uh, it's it's about that size. So I'm going to go for that. I'm going to import that into Canva now. So create this. Oh, so I've opened the new instance of Canva. By the way, we're going to keep that this one uh, still there. But uh, custom dimensions and what does it say? 1920. No, that's not 1920, is it? That's that's a hell of a lot bigger number. And 1080. But you know what? Um, I'll make that a bit bigger because that's obviously the height. So we want to make that a little bit bigger uh, just to cover ourselves. So I'm going to say that's 1200. And then create new design. And I can start to see this is our canvas for our background image. Now, if I go to uploads, I'm just going to grab and throw that in there. I already had it before because I've had a little play with it. Um, and the cool thing here is that it's to think about is, well, how are we going to place it? Because we've got to be aware of where our banner image is. Well, we've just created the banner image, haven't we? So if I go ahead and drag that in as well as an image, you can see it's there. Let me throw that in, and we know that's got to be uh, what was the nine seven five. So we're gonna make sure that's right. So nine seven five. It's tricky to get that one little pixel. Oh, is that right? Okay, so I've got exactly what I want there, and I'm just going to make it center. Is it there? Okay. So we know that's center, and now we can create our background image around it and basically remove it afterwards. See what I'm doing there? So now I'm going to throw this in, and basically, I'm going to do this. I'm going to create that. And well, do you know what? Shall I just expand it? I'll expand it like that and say that's where the content's going to be so i'll leave a bit of a bit of a gutter really for the uh uh for the background but what i'll do i'll copy and paste this because i think it's the same each way and do you know what i could literally just do that though couldn't i that could be interesting as well but no i want to just try and get the angle right of like how much space to leave I think that's about right because obviously I'll say this here this would be a hell of a lot easier in Photoshop but we're using Canva because I want to try and do it in a completely free way completely free method that's why we're doing it in this way so let's say that's about right maybe a little bit over and we can just remove that and add that but I, I think we could do something more interesting with the image um, by taking some of these squares out you know to fill it with the background color well see what we can do so um Basically, I want to search for, because you can't cut things out in Canva, which is one of the annoyances, frustrations for me. But what you can do uh, is search for like a square or something that we can cover it with. So if we go to search and go square. Actually, we're going to go to elements for this, actually. Square. Block. That one. Ah, this will be it. Yes. Okay, so what we want to do now is resize this to some of these angles here. Angles, positions. And as you can see, it's going to look like they've been caught out, which I quite like. So I'll just copy and paste that to do it on the opposite side there. Paste again. Do one here. Resize it. 
I mean, these sh shapes won't actually show up on the page because it's going to be transparent. I mean, if it was doing this a lot slower, I could get into those the little nitty gritty of those little, you know, little edges there. But just, just, just show you how it works. So, just for now, in case I come back to this, I'm just going to lower the transparency of that so it disappears, and then we're going to download this. Download. Oh, actually, should we make this whole black? Because in case it doesn't download as a transparency. <coughs> Pretty sure it does, but there you go. Ah, you can see how it's going to look. Looking at that, it looked like it was a only a, a, a pro thing, like a pro ability feature to be able to get a transparent. But because our background's black anyway, this this should work. So download that. It's downloaded. Now we we'll go over to our Bandcamp page, page design, and we're going to, go to upload on the background image and upload our image. Um, and what we want to do, we want because it's between shift on that side and that side because it automatically uploads in an odd way. So I want to go to uh, center, yeah, because it was automatically uploaded on the left. And there you go, okay. And actually, that's pretty cool. I, it, you, you see, there's a there is an um, a footer there to be aware of. So it might actually be worth just going to the footer and then having this just being black, maybe. I don't know, it, it depends how, how far you want to go, but I don't I don't think it looks too bad. I quite like that, um, the way you, these cutouts, it looks quite dynamic. But you know, what, what I could have done is just cut out this one and left that one, so the others kind of look a little bit different. But you wouldn't kind of think that was a background, would you? Anyway, that's example two. Let's uh, jump on to example three. Mm -hmm. 